Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards love reading for August 2020. This is for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I want to thank all of you for watching the channel and liking readings and subscribing. Certainly, I so appreciate you for doing that. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join this beautiful community by subscribing. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified as soon as videos are posted. But I uh, post new readings once a week on Fridays, always. And then usually on Mondays, there's another type of reading, um, either a monthly or this love reading. And then later in August, I'm going to do a seasonal reading for the months of September through December. Okay, so check back for that. So let's get started here and get the guidance for Virgo and love, please. What does Virgo need to know, please, in love, for the highest of all good, the highest good of all involved here for Virgo? Virgo in love. All right. So let's see what the cards have to say. We'll pull three for you, three for the person you are attracting, and then we'll do an oracle card reading, all right? Get a little more clarity. So you start off with the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Wands. They've got the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords here. Your guidance, though, is the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and the Sun. Well, is it in the cards? Of course it is. I'm going to say yes, love is in the cards. Now, I don't see a lot for reconciliation, okay? There could be, because there's, there's definitely not... There's not a lot of conflict here. The only thing that might, in terms of a reconciliation, they might be a little bit on the fence or they might have people talking to them. But it feels more new to me. Um, it's serious, though. You've got it on both sides, both of you do, about building a commitment, about wanting more, about moving forward. So you have here Aries and Leo. You have um, Sagittarius, too. you got Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You've got earth and air. So you've got Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Um, really strong, though. I mean, you've got marriage cards in this. So you, I love to see something like the Hierophant with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, that's beautiful. It's It's... First of all, the Hierophant is oftentimes thought of a marriage card because it's an efficient, someone who officiates weddings and spiritual teacher and leader. Um, so some of you are on some kind of a spiritual journey too. And if you've been worried, like you're thinking, am I ever going to find someone? The Hierophant holds up his hand and says, be still and know. Be still and know that yes, there's someone out here for you. You're attracting them. And then you've got this Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles... You know, it's a it's it's harmony for everyone involved, right? And it's it is the wealth card too. Even though this is a love reading, there's stability here with money as well. There's not a shortage of anything. There's not a shortage of anything because you also have with all these wands, you've got this spark, and there's kind of a lusty energy here with the spark of fire and things. Um, but you know, with that ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is like the everything card. It's everything coming together. And um, the guidance on that, though, is to be a, really in appreciation and be aware of it because the universe is bringing you in a gift. And, um, you know, sometimes the gift is disguised as something else. You know, it's like it leads to more. And maybe at first you're not completely open to it. And when you release the resistance, that's when it really develops. And that brings us to the Two of Wands. This is success, um, but it's wanting more, okay? He's got, you know, he's got these two wands, and these are, there's, this can be about a decision, too. But he holds the world in his hand, and so he's got things coming towards him, great things coming towards him, but he still wants more. It's still kind of a small world that he holds there. He wants a big world. And that's you. You're looking for something stable, something long-term, something that runs the distance. This is not, you know, let me see how this goes and just try on every 
person from Bumble I can find. Um, I do think you're going to be very happy, though. I mean, the outcome of this is really beautiful. There's a lot of love here. So this person, you know, they're represented by some interesting energy because um, there's the stability of the three of pentacles and, and building a home together, building a life together. Um, and they work, the three of pentacles too is also about having like-minded people. So who you attract is not going to be somebody that like really pisses you off. It's not like one of those relationships where, you know, people meet and they kind of rub each other the wrong way. And then there's all this sexual tension. It's, it's really more like there's more harmony here than this. Um, but with this Queen of Wands, too, there's a strong magnetic attraction here between the two of you. You find each other, it feels like irresistible, you know, and and there's really not, um, there's really not a downside to this except for this damn Eight of Swords. And the thing is about this, this Eight of Swords can represent embarrassment on some level. And so I don't know if there's something about this person that holds them back slightly like, like there's something about how they live or something that they're doing that they're mildly embarrassed about. Um, I don't think it's anything catastrophic. It's not like they're a hundred thousand dollars in debt or something crazy like, oh God, I've got to hide this. But it's like, it might be just some odd thing like they... I don't know, their apartment's a mess, or I don't know, It's that's what comes through. But I do feel like there's some hesitation in their part. They want the same things that you do, um, but they don't want to be judged. And the thing is, with the Eight of Swords, it's really a self-imposed prison, um, you know, and, and it can also be about, you know, listening to other people and it restricts you because you get too many different opinions coming in. So that's, that's what I get for two with the reconciliation. There might be other people in their ear telling them things that are not relevant and really not their business. Okay, so for those of you that there's a reconciliation here, I do think it's going to happen, but there's got to be more boundaries here with other people chiming in on your relationship. That can't continue. That is one of the biggest affronts to a relationship is involving other people behind the person's back. Not a good move. And I say that as a clinician, okay? Not just a reader and not just a person. That's That can be like putting gasoline or putting miracle grow on problems in a relationship is going and trying to talk to other people about it. Not a, you know, not a licensed professional, but just other people that want to run their mouth. Um, so your guidance here, you know, really beautiful energy here. You've got wish fulfillment here. You've got, you know, this is goals with the sun. I mean, this is hell yes. It's let's do it. This is, I'm running down to, you know, the, I forget what it's called, but it's this pink chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. It's this pink crystal cha chapel. If anybody knows the name, you can tell me, but it's like one of those, like we're going to run off and elope. We're going to get on the back of my horse. We're going. Um, but there's also with the nine of cups here, just great admiration for one another. There's real love here, but there's this reciprocity to it. It's like there there really is a balance in the commitment. There's a love, and it's somebody who really moves your heart. And, um, you know, with this emperor, this is confidently moving forward. It's Aries energy. You've got Aries Leo water here. Um, but it also could be about whatever this Eight of Swords thing is, it, it feels like it's related to that. There's something about this where they kind of feel like they there's like they feel like they're not going with the grain on what society wants them to do, and um, and that may be one little obstacle. But it doesn't feel big. It doesn't feel like it's. It almost kind of makes me laugh. I mean, I get the image of hoarders in my head, but I don't feel like they're that extreme. It's more like they just are a pig in their car or something dumb like that. Um, you know, um, but anyway, I do feel like they love, they, they have love for you and it's going to be reciprocal and it, it it's again, you're like-minded. So I feel it goes in the really, there's continuity here. It goes in an easy direction. There's ease with it. There's a flow with it. So let's get these, um, Oracle cards out here a minute. I'll just do a few shuffles and see they are not 
organized in any order. They're just uh, how spirit wants them to come out. All right, let's get the um, guidance here for Virgo. And then you can ask a timeline. Okay, well, see what is the timeline here for Virgo? What is the timeline here for Virgo? And this is yes or no, okay? They get so sticky, they're hard to maneuver here for me sometimes. And your first card here is get more information, okay? So there, like I said, there might be something here that is kind of a minor thing that just needs to be addressed, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. Um, and it will help. It'll help to kind of ease whatever this tension is because it feels pretty insignificant. Meditation brings answers. So if you're sitting here going, I really love these cards, but boy, I, I just don't get how it's me. Meditate, clear your mind, and, and clear your mind entirely. Try to do it for at least 10 minutes. And then that's a great time to visualize. If for those of you that are, you know, you're trying to get a reconciliation going, another thing that um, I have heard of ha people having great results with this is they visualize a text coming through from their ex, even if there's not been any communication. And they just spend 60 seconds and you can do it a couple times a day if it comes up. I do it especially if you're having, you still have some animosity towards the person and you start to feel pissed again, go into something positive because otherwise you're gonna keep getting a mix. Well, anyway, you do this visual, visualization process and then you just let go of it and go about your day. So you don't sit and dwell on it and it's very short. And big happy changes are coming, Virgo. This is a huge deal when you get this card because it's like life changing changes. It's not just some, you know, I got a new sweater I liked. This is like, I met the love of my life and in a year from now, and I don't, if that's the timeline, I'll scream. In a year from now, you'll look back and say, I can't believe that was only a year ago. What a difference a year made. Well, you got to take action. So with taking action, it's telling you you know, just that if you've been kind of waiting, you know, you, you want something, you know what you want, but you haven't really done anything to put yourself out there. It's time to put yourself out there, Virgo, because they'll take it and don't stop. So when you start to get some momentum, keep going. You're collecting speed and the universe loves speed. And the more momentum you get in a positive direction, the next thing you know, life changes and it's everything good coming your way. So Great things shall come to pass for you, Virgo. I love you so much, and I'll be back again soon.